Kate's Popstar Magazine here with Alexander Newton. So Alexander, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got started in acting? Oh, I'm an actor and a singer and uh, I got started at a very young age. I was about three years old. My dad cast me, uh, he's a film director, and he cast me in this like uh, TV show thing that he did as a presenter. So um, me and my friend, we presented it and uh, yeah, I think I just kind of fell in love with the camera and uh, you know, wanted to do it more and more and more. Mm -hmm. And uh, a few years ago, I was cast in a movie and it's coming out soon, so that's where I am. Can you tell us a little bit about the movie and your character? Uh, it's called Justice Vengeance. I play a character called Joseph. Um, he's uh, it's set in 1940s, so he's this uh, Polish Jew, and he uh, his family they get killed, and he becomes this freedom fighter. Um, you know, trying to kind of get revenge. You know, like uh, you know, stop the war, I suppose. And um, he's kind of tormented. Um, you know, he's. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a very like sad kind of story, like tragic um, character. So um, yeah, I mean like, but he, you know, he lives to live, I suppose. Well, I heard you have, there's a great scene in the movie too, where you're involved with an action sequence. Do you like doing action and stunts and everything? Yeah, action sequences are really, really fun. Um, you know, like in addition to kind of the dramatic essence of the movie, like there are places and times where, you know, action is needed to show like, you know, kind of the, the culmination of what the character's been going through. Um, so, you know, like, yeah, they're fun, I suppose, that's <laughs> the story. So what other actors are you going to work with? Um, so many actors, you know, like some of the actors that have been around forever. Um, I think, uh, you know, Michael Caine would be great to work with, uh, Robert De Niro would be great to work with, you know, like Al Pacino. Um, <laughs> Great actors, you know, like so, so many people, like a uh, huge, huge spectrum of people. But like, I'm really grateful for the people that I've worked with already. Mm -hmm. um, like Roy Scheider, um, got nominated for two Oscars. Uh, amazing working with him. Like it was, it was a joy. So, what would be your dream role? Um, mm -hmm. My dream role would be to kind of maybe play like a doctor or something. You know. Um, because, or, or, or just like somebody who's like like a really like normal person, like a really normal like kind of, you know, job, but like with like some really interesting like happening to that character. Like I find those stories like a really interesting when you take like a really normal person and then, you know, something absolutely crazy happens to their life. And, you know, they just, you know, have to kind of restore balance. Mm -hmm. And we also hear you're a musician, so can you just tell us about your music? Yeah. Um, I love music. Um, i got a song coming out soon called Lost in Forever. Um, me and my friends, we you know, make music as well. So we're kind of working on an album at the moment. Uh, a whole bunch of different genres, you know, we're not kind of sticking to one. Um, we're, you know, we're going for all sorts of different things. I play piano and guitar. Um, so, you know, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. Who would you love to collaborate with musically? Um, anybody who has a passion for it. You know, like anybody who really um, loves music and, you know, somebody who really takes pride in their writing and their singing and, you know. Uh, I'm working with great people at the moment as well. <laughs> so what's like the last song that's been stuck in your head? Um, you know, I've been listening to Elvis today. Mm -hmm. um, so like, uh, uh, what's it like? Uh, is it Burning Love? Like, is that is that a is that the song? Yeah, yeah, yeah Uncle Burning um, Lover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I've listened to that, and uh, you know, I've been listening to like so many different kinds of. Oh, Your Love Takes Me Higher by uh, Jackie. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, that song is incredible. It plays like in the hotel all the time, <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself like, okay, I've heard this song before, you know, and I, I Google the lyrics to try and you know see what it was, and I, yeah, I've had it on repeat. But the live version is the best because he sings like so high. It's, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Amazing. So where can our readers get more information about you and your upcoming work and your music and everything? Um, there's a bunch of stuff online about me. Um, you mean like publications and stuff like that? Like, or if you um, have like a website or Twitter? Oh, okay, yeah. I go to Twitter. You can get me on Twitter. The Kid New. T-H-E-K-I-D-N-E-W. Um, so yeah. And uh, like, I guess, you know, Twitter is the best. 
for me. I love Twitter. I'm, I'm on it like every day. It's an addiction. So once your album comes out and everything like that, and you're gonna go on tour, like who would you love to go on tour with? Um, my band. You know, <laughs> like uh, kind of you know anybody who who's kind of fun. You know, and and like just chill, up for a great time. You know. Um, I want to go on tour with the fans as well, you know, like, you know, a bunch of people, like, and that's what it's kind of for, you know, like, making music for people to you know, feel happy and dance. So what's your person, who, what, what artist are you dying to see in concert? Um, okay, well, I've seen Kings of Leon, mm -hmm. um, I've seen, uh, like, Kanye West, um, this, you know, everybody, mm -hmm. like, I, I have so much respect for everybody who is there in the music industry right now. Um, there's not a single, you know, artist which I say, and if, you know, I, I, I think good things of all of them because they're all, you know, they're all great. Mm -hmm. So, anybody. Yeah, even like little bands, you know, like, um, there are so many little bands out there. Like the other day I just went to the Key Club and I saw this um, little band called, um, I can't even remember what their name was right now, but <laughs> they're great, you know, so anybody who, who just makes good music. Wonderful. And what's like your most prized possession? My iPhone. <laughs> Can't leave home without the iPhone. <laughs> yeah, no, I love it. It does everything, you know, like, um, and especially Siri, you know, I'm like talking to Siri, you know, so um, it's great, yeah. And if you could cast someone to play you in a movie, who would you cast to play you? Wow, um, I think I would go with Jim Carrey. Um, Jim Carrey because uh, he's a really serious actor. <laughs> <laughs> and if you could recreate any movie from the past and star in it, which one would you pick? Wow. And why? Um, there are so many. Um, it's a tough question, actually. You know, it's um, a hard one. Because, you know, like, I kind of I look at movies from the past, and if I really like it, but I really want it to be remade. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I can't, I can't really answer that. Mm -hmm. well, I can, but you know, I mean, I would. I feel bad about making that movie. <laughs> yeah. So now that you're also out in California, what's the biggest difference between London and California? Um, the weather. <laughs> you know, the, the big wide open roads. Um, it's you know kind of like yeah. You know, I mean, it's like that. Like. England's great, America's great, um, England kind of has a little bit more of a, you know, like, uh, people are closer, like, because the city's smaller, but people are, you know, people are still close here, and like, you know, the city's big, I mean, 10 miles will take you 10 minutes here, 10 miles will take you two hours mm -hmm. in London, so, you know, I mean, that's why it's good to like, walk around and take you to and all kinds of things like that, so, you know. 